Welcome to another channel update. This time it's December. A couple of months have passed. More than I would have liked since my last update, but here it is. Lots of things have happened on the channel and lots of things are happening right now. So it's worth doing another update just spontaneously right now. So let's talk about sort of um, the whole content creation thing, uh, YouTube versus Twitch versus how things are going. I'm still, for anyone who does not know, I am... Um, this is my job. This is all I have as an income. This is my sole income. And uh, that is extremely stressful. I'm not going to lie to you. It's extremely stressful because every time there's a cancellation on Patreon or the subs on Twitch go down or the views on YouTube go down, it's just directly impacting. And I have to look in very long, hard look at the mirror and saying, what am I doing wrong? So that's that's really really stressful, and but I'm I'm loving it. I'm loving the content creation part. I'm loving the engagement. I'm loving the fact that I have uh, people who are enthusiastic to come watch and participate, and I'm absolutely happy about it. I want to, that to continue, and that's um, I'm going to continue for as long as that makes sense. But I also have to be able to pay the bills, quite obviously. Um, that's enough of the boring part. Well, one thing that I want to mention, if you do want to support, then Patreon is the best place. Patreon is um, pretty much akin to my uh, my monthly salary. And because um, YouTube is YouTube, right? Then there's an apoc apocalypse and it's still like nothing because of, of it. I, I want to keep my channel sponsor free unless it's a product that I can really vouch for. And I haven't seen anything that has been of any interest yet. So that's a thing. So I'm uh, I'm running on you as my sponsors, patrons and uh, subs on Twitch. And uh, Patreon is the best way to support if you want to, but this is no, I mean, don't go out and spend your lunch money on, uh, on supporting some random guy on the internet. But if you have some disposable income and feel like, hey, what this guy's doing is awesome. I want to support that guy and uh, keep it going. Then thank you very much and thank you to all the long-term patrons who have been supporting me for several years now it's been really awesome and it's allowed me to do what i love more than anything so thank you um let's dive into sort of the actual content and move on from here whoops failed at my high tech display here factorio well we have the 100 percent achievement run here on youtube it is Ongoing but almost ending, as everyone can probably see. Views are sort of yeah, um, dwindling. That is to be expected, as you know, any series goes above 30 uh, episodes, then kind of dissipates from there. Dissipate? No. Diminishes. So, I have something else planned, and that will be a tribute to patrons. Let me explain a bit about it. Uh, but first, extended megabase over on Twitch. I will encourage anyone who watches this on YouTube to remember that I also have a Twitch channel and I spend more time on Twitch than I do on YouTube. So if you want to hang out, I both stream in the morning and in the evening, and that's European time. So usually uh, from 10 to 2 in the morning, well, 10, 10 morning to 2 afternoon, and then 8 evening to midnight, European time. So depending on what time zone you're in, head on over, say hi. If nothing else, just say, just say hi. Uh, I, th I love that direct uh, interaction and it's much more, much better than just the comment section here on YouTube. So do come on over. Now, over, over there on Twitch, I have my extended megabase, which has uh, so far reached 9,000 signs per minute. And it's in the process of being stabilized. I really am quite happy and proud of that base and still got a way to go so do come on over take a look at it and uh, join in the fun and on back here on youtube there will be another youtube series uh, the other youtube factorio series that's always the case and it'll be a train world dedicated to patrons because i want to do something more something special for patrons so every patron will have a train and i will guarantee you that i will have all patrons um in the new base so I know that in my Crestorio series, the series ran out before I ran out of sub of patrons. And I didn't want to sort of unnecessarily extend it beyond what made sense. But in this case, we um, we have some mods ready so that it's going to be highlighted who is who is what train. And if someone gets run over by a train, we can see who actually was the patron who ran over. Uh, and it's also a way to sort of for me to sort Take every time you build a train and put it in on the line. It's a, uh, it's it's someone who has been helping support. So that's gonna be awesome. It's uh, around 
I think it's best less than 300 uh, patrons now, which is amazing. So um, that's what's going on in the Factorio world, but there's a lot of other content as well going on. Um, actually, so much so that I don't even have space for it. Oh, that's not how it works. Whatever. There you go. Yeah, that I, I just butchered that. Great. Uh, other content. Teamfight Tactics announcement is I'm stopping it. I'm going to give some backstory to this. I've been playing Teamfight Tactics every day for three months. I think about three months. It is this game I've streamed the most. I stream it every morning. And there are two things why, two reasons why I have to stop it immediately. And in the sort of um, spirit of honesty, I love that game. I absolutely love it. But if I win, I'm in ecstatic mood. If I lose, I'm in a piss poor mood. And it's just not worth it for me to stream for four hours and leave and be in a bad mood. It's just not worth it. And you can just say, well, just don't. But um, it's I'm so invested in the game that it's just draining me when I am unlucky, play bad, tilt, all that stuff. It's just really affecting me and I don't want to go rest the rest of the afternoon and just be uh, annoyed about uh, about a fucking game. So that's, that's it. The other thing is um, I've been doing this every day for three months and I'm streaming for 20 to 45 people. That is extremely low. I had hoped that it would be possible for me to build an audience. That has proven to be a false assumption and there is no continued interest. I th I've noticed every time there was a new sub coming in, I've asked if that new sub was because of the Teamfight Tactics and every single one has been, no, 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 I don't give a shit about Teamfight Tactics. I'm here. I just saw you were online and I watched your Factorio series. So I also have to consider this from a job perspective and what's the point of playing a game that makes you in a bad mood and does, people don't really care about watching it. So it's off off the table, may come back. That's all how uh, abusive relationships always work. Always tend to just migrate back to them, even though they're not good for you. But uh, for now, I can't play it. It's just, it has to go. So what else? That doesn't mean I won't stream in the morning because um, I have to stream in the morning. I want to, I like it. There are lots of, luckily lots of other new games that are coming out and I want to play those. So that should be good. That being said, we have Automation Empire. Um, it was a bit of a short-lived thing. It um, had a lot of potential, but in my opinion, it stumbled and it, it was not able to to get on from there. Um, the, the map is too small. It's playing it once, then you kind of feel like you've played all of it. You can optimize your designs a bit. Um, but the overall, uh, overall problem was the taxes. The taxes just absolutely killed it for me. Um, Disabling taxes makes no point, makes no sense. Uh, it has to be a better mechanic, not a lack of mechanic. And um, that's um, a lesson to be learned that uh, maybe we re release it as early access instead, because uh, then it's people are more forgiving to these kind of things. Now I don't think I'm going back to it. Of course, it's has lots of interest and the comment section is full of people enraging about me playing it or continuing it. I'll do it, of course, but I think that I, I think they're honestly they they stumbled which is such a shame uh, giving it to someone for testing it two weeks before could have solved this issue um, yeah anyway uh darkest dungeon we're nearing the end and what an end it is i absolutely enjoy my friday darkest fridays and i very much appreciate the people tuning in it is amazing it's fun it's exciting it's uh, somehow not stressful despite it should be really stressful i'm having so much fun with that game and i want to continue that Transport Fever is coming out on the 11th of December and I <clears throat> managed to get a uh, review copy. So I'm playing it. I'm playing it on Sunday, uh, on Saturdays. I'm, I'd like to throw in another day. Let me just check the calendar while I'm here. So it's going to be Wednesday the 11th. That's the release date. So let's also do it that day. So we get some more coverage of that game while we can. And um, then we have Phoenix Point coming out yesterday, and uh, that's going to be the new big thing in the morning. I will be playing uh, on the morning on Twitch. I'll be playing Phoenix Point. So do check it out if you don't know what the game is. It's kind of like XCOM, updated, new, more advanced mechanics. Um, but the idea is still turn-based, squad-based combat. It's 
Amazing game. I played it once, one evening, and I'm going to now restart a new series. Again, naming uh, characters after patrons in chat. So, And I'll try to make it in an episodal way so that like Darkest Dungeon, it is easy to migrate over to YouTube so we can have episodes coming on YouTube. Um, that's going to be really exciting. So that's going to be taking up the morning slot of streaming as of from now on. And that means also I will be available to start to play new games in the coming weeks, which may take morning slots or evening slots. So by all means, use the comment section below if you have not given up on this video just yet to uh, let to let me know about new and exciting games. I don't want to have suggestions about old games. Uh, I'm not going to go back to playing a game that's been out for three, four years. But anything that's uh, new and you think that might be sort of along the lines of what uh, what either you'd like me to play or what you think I would like to play, preferably the latter. So I think that's, um, that's going to be it for now. I hope that uh, you'll check out the Discord and uh, Come hang out there, ask questions, uh, share ideas, that kind of thing. Uh, come by the Twitch. Uh, that's um, that's a more personal way of interacting. And also I should remember, remind you that I do have a Twitter account and you can follow me there. So uh, where I'll sort of throw updates about this and that. And that's a good way of staying in touch as well. Anyway, I think that's uh, been enough runtime for a short update. I'll try to do this. Maybe before New Year. That would be good, right? A New Year's a resolution for what's going to happen in the next year. Anyway, so thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for the people who have been supporting me for a long time. And new people who are considering supporting it means the world to me. It literally does. Thank you for watching and I'll see you around.